Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know I keep going off and coming back in, but do you know what? I am a full-time professional yoga teacher. So that's what I do with most of my times, teaching clients, students in classes and at home. So just know that I'm trying to get back on making these videos more frequently and um, it depends on you. So if you like this, let me know and I will keep making more and let me know what content you want to see. But for today, what we're going to do is yoga for strength. So we're going to work a strong vinyasa class and I want you to take your time, many levels, right? You guys are coming from very, very, very different places. So take your time, have some fun and let's begin. All right, so firstly, you're going to start on all fours like me. And what you're going to do is you're going to curl your toes under and as you curl your toes under just take a moment to notice how this feels because for a lot of us this is strong right we're stretching the soles of the feet and we call it the plantar fascia of the foot so if it's really strong for you go ahead take your block raise your knees and just insert the block under your knees and take a few breaths it doesn't have to be long but you're just warming up your feet and also establishing an inner arch and a lateral arch as you firm your outer ankles in and the transverse arch that crosses from your baby toe and your big toe Okay, so from here, you notice that I'm pulsating. I'm just breathing through it. I'm just going to circle my pelvis, create some space and some energy around the hips. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead, raise the knees up, move the block to the side, and then full toe stand again, draw back, reach the arms out, reach the arms out, let my eyes close, do the same. Take a full inhale, follow your breath in, fill your lungs and open the mouth, stick the tongue out, and then let your eyes open. Whew. Lower the arms, release your feet, and as you release, take a moment to spread your toes, clap your feet, send some energy down into your foot, reach the right leg back like so, and just kind of create some space at the back of the leg, and then go ahead, switch sides, and then from there, you're gonna travel into Ah, downward facing dog. Do this a few times, guys, right? We're building heat. It's going to be a strong vinyasa class, so come into down dog. Don't worry so much about what the shape looks like, but I really want you to move into what it feels like. So on this third cycle, try to hold it. If you're a little tighter at the back of your thighs, bend your knees. Tilt your sit bones up so that you can really create space out of your spines, but try to lift your forearms up. And then if you can take the sit bones back and press your thigh bones back, straighten your legs a little bit more. Okay, and then from here, raise onto the balls of your feet, look forward, step the right foot, step the left foot, parallel your feet, hands to your shins or your ankles, inhale, pull your chest forward, and then exhale, fold. We're going to do that again. Inhale, chest forward, maybe bring your fingers in line with your toes now, exhale, fold, and then from here, catch your ankles again, let the bum sit down, and we're going to go skiing with the sun. So let your arms go forward. And notice how I'm arching my lower back right now. We want to keep a little arch, but if you're very mobile, try to pick your abdomen up. And as you feel that lift, without tucking, reach the arms forward and just pulsate in it. Breathe into it, right? Feel the energy at the back of your thighs, your hamstrings getting stronger. And as you raise your toes, the energy at the fronts of your legs. Good. Lengthen your spine so your back gets stronger. Take another breath and exhale. Fold. Inhale. Raise the arms up. Lift your sides and exhale, pull towards your heart. So as we practice, we're gonna practice from the space of the heart, which is a space that we hope cultivates courage and compassion. So find the balance between the two. Here we go. Big inhale, raising up, lift, and exhale, folding all the way down, hinge. I'm already sweating. Step back to downward facing dog, lengthen. You're gonna go ahead and step the right foot forward again. And as it goes forward, pull the right hip in and just take a moment here, bend the front knee, hands on your lower back, hands to the hips for some of us creates more stability. And if you can maintain that little lift of the abdomen, go ahead, reach the arms forward. Inhale, exhale. Do what you did in the previous pose, draw the shin back, inhale, exhale. Try to keep the weight in your right heel, breathe in. Follow it out, you got one more inhale, and exhale, lower the hands down, step into downward facing dog, pulsate it out. 
draw the sit bones up and back, keep the forearms up and press your knuckles away from you as you lift the forearms out of your wrist. Now from here, look forward, go ahead, step the left foot forward, the right foot follows the left, you're at the top again, your choice, right? So fingers in line with the toes or hands to shins if you're a little tighter, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold, rolling your inner groins back. Inhale, chest forward, great length, and exhale, fold. And this time, inhale, look forward, catch your ankle bones, resist with your shins, don't let them come forward. And then from your sides, reach the arms forward. And then we're pulsating, we're breathing in. We follow the breath out, right? It's just a little bit of feedback, so keep reaching the arms forward, working from your triceps, your outer upper arms. Lift the belly, feel that containment from your core. Take another inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Hmm. And inhale, raise the arms up. Offering the energy up and exhale, pulling the energy in. Here we go again, full inhale, raising the arms up slow. And exhale, fold your breath all the way down with length. Now inhale, look forward, step your left leg back. The right foot follows the left during down dog. Stretch the side body. Mm, just feel your body waking up, right? Notice how it feels in this down dog. And you're gonna go ahead, raise onto the balls of your feet. See those inner arches. And step the left foot forward. Now as it goes forward this time, just observe that you're not on a tight rope, which means I can't balance. So I'm gonna move my left foot slightly to the left on this side because my stance was narrow. And as I let the right bum come down, I'm gonna place my hands to my lower back to try and level the lower back, or hands to hips to hug the hips in. And then if I can maintain that little lift, right? It's not tucking, but if I can maintain that little lift, mm, then I'm gonna reach my arms forward and find that strength. I'm breathing in. Wherever you are, you're just honoring where you are. Breathe in, follow it all the way out. Inhale and exhale. Hug the side hips in towards the midline. Take another breath in, follow it out. Whew. And lower the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog pose. As you step into this downward facing dog, this time you're gonna lift your heels. You're gonna look forward, step the feet a little closer together. Now you could step again or little spring. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Inhale, raise the arms up nice and slow, really relishing your breath. And exhale, pull the energy in. Surya Namaskara A. Four, inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, fold the breath all the way down. Inhale, look forward. You're gonna now, with bent elbows, jump. Inhale, come into up dog. For some of us, cobra. And exhale. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. So it's kind of important, guys, to try and, instead of rounding, right, sitting into your wrist, pull your sit bones up and back. Pull your sit bones up and back. And then see if you can roll your inner and outer thighs back, which will create space across your lower back. Now notice I'm quite mobile, so I start to arch a little bit too much. I'm gonna lift that pelvic floor up. And as I do so, I'm gonna take an inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward now, see where you're going, little hop. Maybe you go a little higher, maybe you draw in, maybe you go up. Not important, right? But just finding where you really are. Lower feet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach up and exhale, pull back in. Two more times. Inhale, breathing in and exhale. Just feeling your body undulate and move. Inhale, look forward. Now there's that pickup of the belly. The elbows are bent. Jump. Inhale up, stretching the fronts of your thighs. Exhale, pull back. As you pull back, you might need to adjust in your down dog. Feel it, really take the time guys, feel it. Press your knuckles away from you. Draw your forearms out of your wrists. Straighten your arms without going beyond if you can. And as you stretch back, take an inhale, raise those heels. See where you're going, it's a step. Or you're gonna pick up the abdomen. And it's a hop, up. Spread them, thigh bones back, tailbone in, bend, lower. Inhale, exhale, root to rise. Inhale, come up, lift your sides, and exhale, pull back in. So we're gonna move forward on this one now. So four, inhale, wow, I'm hot. 
<laughs> and exhale. Fold it all the way down. Inhale. Now as you look forward again, bend the elbows. Look forward. Jump. Inhale. Up. And exhale. Down. As you come back into this one now, you're going to slowly from here, again, discover your space, stretch back. I like to lift my fingers sometimes and bend, like flex my fingers. And as I do that, I kind of release any tension around the knuckles and my phalanges, your fingers. As you step the right foot forward, go ahead. <sighs> Building that heat. Stay with me if you can. Build the heat nice and slow. So as I come up, hug in, pick up. And as I pick up, right, it's like I'm holding myself. I'm gonna raise the arms up and I'm just gonna work slowly. Straighten the right leg and notice if you over arch. Practice just letting the bum come down, bend the front knee. We'll do that again, straighten the right leg, pick up, bend the front knee. And now from here as you straighten, pick up, bend the front knee and see if you can hold, hug it in. And as you hold, reach the arms up, lift your sides and then fold, 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 fold. We've been here, pick up your lower belly. Keep the sides long, keep the sides long. Take a breath in and exhale, lower down, pause. Lower the back heel, set it up. You could bring your right forearm to your right thigh. You could bring your right hand to the inside as you raise the left arm up. Trying to keep your sides long, reach the arm overhead. Three breaths, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale. Soften the ribs if you're mobile. Take the sternum forward, inhale. Stay with the exhale, keep the back inner thigh resisting the action. And then slowly raise that top arm up, look down. Bring the hands either side of the front foot, ball of the back foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, widen the chest. So move those shoulder blades in and exhale. Downward facing dog, breathing here. Nice and slow, again, taking your time, right? Just finding that action of building heat, but intelligently. Now, as you slowly step the left foot forward, same action, discover functionally how wide apart you need, and it's a slow rise come up. So if you're sweating like me, try and just breathe into it, because it's all a part of the process of releasing and purging and allowing yourself to reset, right? So as you come up, just take a moment to establish your pelvis and that lift for some of us. Okay, now the arms are gonna go up, straighten the front leg, exhale, bend, straighten the front leg, feel the tailbone lengthen, bend the front knee, I'm gonna do it one more time, straighten, lift, bend the front knee, and now stay here. It doesn't really matter which breath count you do it on so much, this part, but I want you to, as you stay in it, press the back leg thigh bone back, lift your abdomen, take a breath in, and now on the exhale, fold, reach forward. And as you go forward, that exhale really pulls you back in towards your core. Keep your sides long, take another breath in, stay for the exhale, and lower the hands down. Now, lower the back heel, the toes turn in at a minute angle. Move the front foot slightly to the right and place left forearm to thigh. You could stay here. For some of us, this is a great place to be as you raise the top arm up. Or you can lower the hand and go up. Uh, and there's a wonderful stretch, right, on the top ribs. So feel that. And then if you can keep the sides long, top arm up and overhead. And remember, that bottom hand could absolutely be on a block. Stretch your sides. Inhale and exhale. Notice how the energy wants to go forward. Pull the left shin back and try to keep the inner back thigh lifted. Inhale and exhale. Two more, breathe in, follow it out. Try to relax the shoulders. If you need to look down for a moment, that's okay. Take one more breath in, follow it out, go up. And as you lower the hands down either side of the front foot, pull into plank. Pause in this plank, pick up your navel, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, blades in. Navel back, frontal hip bone soft. Slow rise, up dog. Inhale and exhale. So as you soften your ribs, right? It's not a pulling back, tightening. It's just a softening and it's a lifting of the abdomen, right? You're gonna press into your palms. Take an inhale, stretch. Exhale, look forward. Remember, it's a little hot for some of us. We bend the knees. We jump up, hug in. Lift the forearms, lift the forearms out to the knuckles. 
Take the legs up, energize the legs, bring the knees in and lower. Inhale, exhale, and now this time, chair. Peek down for me guys, look down and see your toes so that your knees are not going too far forward. And as you draw back, pull your inner groins back and pull your inner heels back towards the rear of your mat. Okay, lift the abdomen, reach the arms up, sit a little deeper because you can, because you're strong, right? Keep sending the energy out through the fingers, root the tail without tucking, try not to over arch. Take a full breath and exhale, we fold. Inhale, look forward. Now from here, root your palms under your shoulders, step the right foot back, the left foot follows. Pause in plank, lengthen your sides. Bring the right hand slightly to the left. Move on to the outside edge of the right foot. Hand to hip. Hug the hips in. Now we're going to work a little bit of course. You're going to lift that top leg up. Lower. Remember you can always modify this to lowering the bottom knee. Lift the top leg up. Lower. Lift the top leg up. Lower. Reach the top arm up. And overhead. Possibly raise the top leg again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep the tailbone long and then you're slowly gonna reach up, lower, pause. For some of us, this is where we will take a vinyasa. For others, we're just gonna hold, core support, plank, breathe in, follow it out. Breathe in, follow it out. Center left hand, just minimally to the right, so it's more in line with your ankle and not too far behind. And then you're gonna hug in, and as you draw up through the top fingers, pull up through the fingers, Lift the top leg. Remember, you could keep the hand to the hip. It doesn't really matter. You just find what works for you. I'm just going a stage deeper. So for those of us who know we want to amp it up a little bit, you can. All right, so we go up and then we pull back in and then inhale, reach that top arm up and overhead. Breathe into it. And then possibly lift the top leg. Core support, feel your obliques, hug your waist in, connect your rib cage to your pelvis, and then feel those deep transverse abdominus muscles. All right, reach up. Lower, look forward, some of us stay here, possibly even a child's pose, there's time for it. Or take an inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale. Downward facing dog pose, okay. As you find this downward facing dog, place your knees down, keep your toes cold under, stretch your arms forward, and come into more of an active child's pose. And breathe in. Follow your breath out. Just pausing in the strength of your practice. And yet in this shape, feeling that sense of compassion, right? You don't have to overwork. You never have to do that. And you come up, look forward, curl the toes under, step forward. Okay, so from here, we're gonna work. I'm drenched <laughs> into crow pose. I'm gonna take a step back, gonna root your palms, and what you want you to do from here is bend your knees. If you're as soaking wet as me, dry it off, okay? Dry your outer upper arms. Now from here, hug in, make a little shelf, move the hands back, exhale, press, pull in, and just try to hold. You might even just lift one foot up, right? You could just work from here, but I want you to try and keep your elbows straight back and not out to the sides. Lift the other foot. For some of us, another nice, wonderful variation is you take your block. You perch on the block. And you pull up. It raises the floor. So that might be more accessible for you. So give this a go a few times. If you've already jumped back and you've done it, maybe do it another time, right? Core support. Here we go. Pull up from your legs. And as you draw your heels up, look forward, jump back. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly from here, place your knees down. And as you place your knees down towards the earth, swivel your legs forward and come sit. So I've built a lot of heat just doing that, right? And we did some sun salutes and an arm balance, and we're just gonna elongate the sides. Crawl it over, crawl it over. Crawl it over. 
crawl it over. Switch legs, reach over and bring it in. Mm. A little bit of a stretch for the back. Reach up, lower, reach over, bring it in. A little bit of a stretch for the back again. Try to resist with the sit bones. They might want to come up. Try to pull them down. Come up. One more time. Reach. A little bit more back. Reach. Mm. Feel that stretch of your spine. And then reach up. Release. Bring both legs forward. And as the legs come forward, scoot the bum a little closer towards the pelvis and lower yourself all the way down. As you come lay, now from here, try to have it so that knees and ankles are pretty much in line. But as you create that action, I want you to just think, ground your heels, right? So kind of that theme we've had, draw the shins back, lift your chest up. Take a few breaths here. And as you grow your tailbone, so you're not trying to tuck, but you're just trying to lift up so you're containing. You could keep your arms reaching forward or take your knuckles under your mat or press through your upper arm bones and create what we call robot arms. Your arms are now moving into what we call open rotation. So keep the shoulder blades moving in. And as you roll the biceps out, the triceps hug into the midline. Feel your legs turning on, inhale and exhale. Breathe in, follow it all the way out. Option to stay here or shimmy your feet a little closer together and then take that right leg up. Go up, 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 up. Good, keep the tailbone long. Lower with control. Press off the heel, shin resist. And then go up, 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 up. So you're really strengthening your legs. And then lower with control. Press off the heel. Rise a little higher from your chest. And then slowly lower everything down. As you lower, hug your knees in. As you draw your knees in, Relax your lower back. Take an easy twist. For some of us, that means possibly taking the top knee over the bottom knee. Oh, I just cracked. <laughs> and let the arms go out. Mm. Doesn't take much, right? We can do so much just giving ourselves time to practice. Whether it's just five minutes we have, 10 minutes, we can find a practice. Let the knees fall. And revolve. This pause on your lower back at all. Just try to keep a classical knee pile with the top knee level with the bottom, with the top hip. And then think about both hips as pulling forward. Come back. And as you come back, you can bring your knees in again. Spread your toes. We started with the feet. Just feel the energy of the foot. Move this into a happy baby. The sit bones come down. Some of us take the peace sign fingers, hook the toes. <sighs> and draw your knees in. Feel the lower back just releasing down. Now before you fully cool down, take your legs up. Interlace your fingers at the back of your head. Pull up on your pelvic floor muscles. Pull your ribs back. Lower the right leg, pause. Lower the left leg, pause. Reach the arms forward, ribs in and breathe. Right foot over left. Exhale, 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 exhale. Hug it in, you're nearly there. Nearly there, it's that last little bit of heat. Legs go up, pause, breathe. Left leg lowers. Pull the ribs back guys, really try and pull the ribs back and keep the sides of your waist long. Lift up. Lower, exhale, exhale. Just feeling that lift from your abdomen, right? The width of your lower back as you do it. So you're not over arching your lower back. Keep the legs high if you do, or modify this completely by bringing the knees in. And then draw the legs up, hold them there. See those toes, see the inseams of your legs. And then draw your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead up towards your knees. Take a big inhale. And open the mouth. and then prepare yourself to just marinate in your sweat. 
right? Your efforts, I like to call it. So nothing wrong with creating heat and just allowing yourself to, for now, just relax in it. Move any objects out of the way that hinder you relaxing. Giving yourself this time. So as you start to feel yourself, just get heavy on your mat. Just thanking yourself for having done your practice. Just climbing inside, creating a little bit more strength and a little bit more space. And I want to thank you also for rejoining me on this journey. It feels great to be back. Just softening into a place where you're just resting. Take a full inhale, follow your breath in. Open the mouth and exhale. Resting. Shavasana.